This story comes to us from cbsnews.com. Out of Denver, Colorado, a Denver police officer was arrested and suspended with pay, God bless the union, after being charged with domestic violence, harassment, and driving under the influence of alcohol. Now, Brandon Bicknell, who's a 25-year-old officer, told North Glen police officers he drank a lot after allegedly rolling through a stop sign and pulling into a North Glen driveway. Now, according to the arrest report, Bicknell said he started drinking around 6 p.m. and he was contacted by North Glen police officers at midnight. He said he wasn't sure how much he had drank, but that he passed out, woke up, and noticed his clothes were wet and that he had left his house where he was drinking to avoid a confrontation. Is that where the domestic comes in? Now, North Glen police officer said Bicknell had glassy, watery, and bloodshot eyes, thick and slurred speech, difficulty with his balance, and an extremely strong odor of an unknown alcoholic beverage. Bicknell did a sobriety test, which officers said indicated intoxication, and then he blew a 0.186 on the breath test. That's more than twice the legal limit. Twice the legal limit would be 0.16, whatever. He's 0.186. So that could be rounded up to 0.19, I guess. Yeah, this dude was drunk. During the course of the investigation, North Glen officer spoke to an alleged victim of domestic violence who said Bicknell was yelling at her. Investigators said they saw a pantry door was knocked off its hinges and had a hole approximately the size of a fist and approximately the height of the alleged victim's head. So he missed. <clears throat> that person's name is redacted in the report. Of course, she's a victim. And CBS News Colorado doesn't identify victims or alleged victims of domestic violence. I don't think anybody. But when officers asked if the alleged victim thought Bicknell was going to hit them, that person said, I don't know, uh, while crying and visibly upset, according to the arrest report. Bicknell denied any confrontation occurred when asked by North Glen officers. He was arrested and taken to the Adams County Jail. And bond and attorney information for him were not immediately available. A voicemail seeking comment was not returned. Um, so, but the thing that gets me, all of this and suspended with pay. I guess they have to. God bless the union, right? Um, but again, anytime I do one where an officer is DUI or alleged to be DUI, suspected DUI, I always ask this, how many people has this cop arrested for DUI? And here he is. Now he's on the receiving end of it. Yeah, and on a final note, I just want to say people keep complaining about my teleprompter over here, the computer screen. Hey, look. Sometimes in life, you have to just deal with things. Sometimes in life, you just have to go, you know what? I'm just going to deal with it. Deal with it. Yeah. Love all of you guys for watching. I do appreciate you.